Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20's Omnifactory Let's Play series where today I'm making conductive iron energy conduits. Booyah. Uh, looked up the recipe and you get three of them if you craft them in a crafting table and for the same ingredients you get four of them if you make them in an assembler. So a little bit more efficient to make them in the assembler. But not that much. But enough to make it worth considering, at least, maybe a little bit. Uh, so last episode, we wrapped up making ourselves a farmer. And I think the plan for today would be to probably start using the thing. So I'm going to check out this guy. It's been so long since I've actually used the farmer. Uh, I'm not super clear on exactly how the thing works. Um, I remember it being pretty cool. Um, is Industrial 4 going in this pack? Just just, just out of curiosity. I don't think so. It doesn't look... I don't see it in there. Definitely not. Um, how about Ender.io's uh, farming station? So the farming station is here. It doesn't look too bad. doesn't look too bad. It needs a soul machine chassis. Which is just, uh, it's not terrible. Vibrant crystal, uh, autoclave with vibrant alloys and emeralds. Doesn't look too bad. Z logic controller, primitive processor, wafer, block of red alloy. Not actually interesting. There's, there's, yeah, that's the standard recipe. Is a license place at all hard to get? Tungsten steel plate, dark steel bars. I don't know how you get tungsten steel. Probably a machine that we don't have yet. Hot tungsten steel with a blast furnace. Is this vacuum freezer at all hard to get? Electric pumps. First tier four circuit. Oh my goodness. I'm concerned about that. <whistles> Probably frostproof machine casing. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, all right. So we're probably not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. But I would definitely like to upgrade to a farming station at some point if uh, if we can. So let's try out the farmer and see how uh, how this bad boy works. All right. So you, sir, do you? How do you work? How indeed? Remember, we disable grass breaking sounds. So where am I in relation to my base? I'm here. Okay, cool. Got it. Got it. Not a terrible place to be. Alright, so we basically want to run some conduiting down. Let's get this guy powered up and see how he operates. So the best place to tap into power here would probably be any one of these cables. I should probably de-dire wire this just a smidge. Just a teensy bit. How how about the uh, that that conduiting for this stuff? ME conduits. How hard was that to make? Not terrible. Rubber and cables around that, and then some more conduit binder, which were I don't know. We could get more conduit binder. I just have to go mine some clay and sand and gravel. I don't have to eat any of that stuff, to be fair. Um, but let's consider making this a little bit better. So you're, you're cool to hang out doing the thing that you're doing, right? Let's make you conduit binders so that you can run through here. And yes, dire wire. But you know what? I am in a position where dire wire is a thing that's going to happen right now. Until we, we get more resources and can really start automating the production of new stuff, I think dire wire is just going to be a fact of life for a little bit. Sorry. Not that sorry. Well, a little sorry. Well, not terribly sorry, but sorry enough. Was that in any way unclear? Womp, womp, womp. So you're cool. So can I just throw rice seeds in there? All right, that's cool. I suspect, though, what you're going to do is just kind of put stuff wherever you feel like it. Is that an accurate statement? Pretty, pretty accurate. So if we wanted multiple types of resources... I mean, one thing I'd love to know is exactly... Let's throw, like, a ton of rice in there. I should have a bunch of rice seeds. Or a ton of something seeds, right? So, um... I, I, we, we're gonna have to figure out pretty soon which resources we need to make stuff. But we'll, we'll figure that out, right? 
for now, let's get a bunch of rice going on, because that's kind of in our food source. And canola might not be a bad idea either, because that's going to make, eventually, a bunch of stuff. Crystallized canola seeds make even more seed oil. Empowered canola seeds make even more seed oil. Neat. Chemical reactor, huh? So, I mean, we can easily change this up, right? But I just kind of want to have, like, a mapping here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should work, right? And then throw some water in that thing. Yeah, so at some point we'll get more canola going on. Hey, that's cool. Worms. Cool. And I think we should be good then. Nice. Shouldn't you? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is just that so that this stuff turns back into grass and it looks halfway decent out here and then um we'll let the rice grow and and the farmer's just doing his job getting us some food at least because we've already automated sugarcane and i don't know exactly what resources we're gonna need so let's you know i know it asked me to make lots of canola and stuff right that was one of the quests oops wrong button uh farming said we're going to need large quantities of canola for biodiesel and sugarcane for ethanol. Well, we already got sugarcane, so maybe we should throw canola out there. I wish I could split it. I wish I could be like half canola, half rice. But, you know, we'll see what happens. And obviously we're not filtering the exports anywhere, but we'll figure that out too. So, for now, let's proceed with quests and then see where that gets us. Does that sound like a cool plan? Because that's pretty much what I'm thinking. All right. So quest-wise, what do we got going on next, right? So we're in early game, right? We are probably going to want to get into chrome and stainless steel pretty soon. Um, so what's involved in making chrome dust? Chrome dust is obtained by electrolyzing ruby dust, which I assume I have rubies of some kind. We do have ruby ore, and that'll smelt into ruby or pulverize into crushed ruby times two. And that can pulverize into ruby dust. So we can smelt it and then, oh, that's cool, aluminum and tile, tiny pile of dark ashes. Sweet. Now, just to be clear, if we wanted to pulverize this, we would get two crushed ruby ore, which we can pulverize again to get impure ruby dust. Sounds like a familiar process, right? And then we get ruby and garnet components. Cool. So I think, like, as usual, every time I... What I've been doing is every time I find an ore that I, like, actually use for something, I've been kicking it up there in that place. So what I'll do is just smelt these guys up and then macerate them. I think that'll be at least faster. I mean, granted, it's not as efficient, but we know how hard it is to get resources, right? Um, not. And then we need to electrolyze it, right? Is that the deal? So advanced electrolyzer, you do your thing, right? Uh, oh, we need six of them to get chrome. That's not a problem. Nice. Okay, let's at least get the ball rolling over here. Not terrible. So that'll get me chrome dust, right? And then uh, we'll need stainless steel plates, right? So stainless steel ingots come from a blast furnace, obviously, of stainless steel dust, which is a bunch of iron dust, manganese, nickel, and chrome. That's not bad. Pulverizer, mixer. It's a little less iron dust, but like at that point, it's not worth not a big deal at least and cool we got some aluminum for that so good times so you get me a bunch of that right uh manganese that's something i don't know if i have any of let's see if we have any of that hanging out over here i don't even see an ore version of it so it must come from something manganese dust 
pulverized tungsten or shielite or pyro or tantalate or some kind of tungsten. I'm guessing not. Uh, or we can centrifuge stainless law. Well, that doesn't help. That's what we're trying to make. Or that stuff, whatever that is. Electrolyzed pyrolucite dust. Which comes from what exactly? Impure pyrolucite dust. Crushed pyrolucite dust. Pyrolucite. Yeah. I'm assuming we don't have that either. Because those, well, actually, we do have some of that. Pyrobore. I don't think that's what we're looking for, though, right? No, that's pyrope dust. So many dusts. It sounds so, 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 so familiar. Magnesium, silicon, and aluminum. All right, let me do a little bit of looking. Well, one of them was some kind of tungsten ore. Tungstate ore. They don't have craftable recipes. Well, maybe now that I've completed the, the Chrome quest, you know what? Well, I only look at the. Well, I only read the quest material. Stainless steel will be your primary material for HV, in the same way that aluminum was for MV and wrought iron was for LV. Manganese comes from electrolyzing tantalite dust, pyrolucite, or spessartine dust. You have, oh, you already have Chrome. Mix a bunch of the dust in a mixer and begin processing it through the blast furnace. So this may be a good time to reevaluate your power generation and storage infrastructure. Good to know. So tantalite dust. Tantalite ore is craftable, by the way. We don't have any, but it's craftable. So tantalite ore. And then what do you get? You get smelted into two dust. Okay. And let's... uh. Snag one of these dudes for the old scanner dictionary. Because as you know, we're going to need some more of that in the future, I would imagine. If that's the if that's the base component for HV, then yeah, we're probably going to be doing a lot of that in the future. All right. So you said do what now? You said electrolyzing tantalite dust. Wow, you're still cooking, electrolyzer? I'm proud of you for working so hard. Wow, that is slow. That is a slow process. Uh, and we're getting lots of oxygen from doing this, by the way. Well, we'll let that cook. And meanwhile, um, I'd also like to look at the brewery. You can turn plant balls and other various sugary crops into biomass with a brewery. Biomassis is the first step towards making plastic technical Technically, polyethylene. That's what we need. That's what we need to get to get patterns. The brewery is a very, very slow machine, and it requires almost no power. Building higher tier breweries or many LV1s is recommended if you want to have a sufficient amount of biomass. Uh, so brewery, huh? So you want me to make the basic one, which is the LV. So let's make it for the quest. Right? And then we'll consider upgrading it pretty quickly. So this shouldn't be too hard. All right, what am I missing? Uh, I am missing an electronic pump. Do I have a motor in there? Nah, no, I, I made extra of some things and then, wow, I'm really low on a lot of things. Let's come back in a minute after I make all this junk. I think we should be cool now. Let's see. Let's do some of this. Good enough. Hey, while you're chilling, because we're out of rubber. Thanks, bro. Basic brewery. Nice. Now, something tells me I'm going to want this brewery to be near my drawers. I'm just saying. I got this hunch. Call it a crazy hunch. But I feel like that's going to kind of want to be where we're at, right? Um, so, yeah, you are a quest complete. 
So after brewery, we have I don't need no stinking tower. If you don't feel like making a distillation tower just yet, you can get ethanol via a single block distillery. However, the distillation tower will be needed uh, for petrochemical stuff like oil later on, but it's optional at least for a little longer. Um, so the distillation tower, I remember being a big multi-block, right? I'm imagining that's what it is. I can't even um, imagine it's not. Oh yeah, that's a big, that's a big, that's a big multi-block. And uh, a lot of stainless steel, a lot of stainless steel. So that's, uh, that's, that's probably stainless turbine, block of stainless steel. They were stainless steel somethings, right? Clean stainless steel casings. Let's hold off on that one for a little bit. I'm down with making just the distillery, like the basic one. Um, so a basic distillery is our next task. So this is apparently slow, right? So could we, let's, let's, let's start looking at how slow this thing is and decide if we wanna ramp it up, right? Uh, so conduits, do I not have any item conduits anymore? Have I used them all? I may have. I may have. Uh, we're going to absolutely need more of this stuff. We're going to need a lot of things. All right, let's just get it going manual for now. Uh, it's a dirty word in the diorama language, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Cool. So you are how slow? Oh, I'm assuming you need brewing machine. Is that what that is? Water and sugar canes equals biomass. All right. I just want to make sure, yes, that's correct. All right, uh, let's do, I mean, there's endervoirs, there's aqueous accumulators, there's obviously a ton of things. I've been really bad about using you. Can I just borrow this for a minute, bro? That would be groovy. We're just getting the basics understood, right? I'm assuming that you're gonna be like cool and transfer fluid into here, right? 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 Apparently not. Conduits, please. Pressurized fluid conduit. Right, just need to understand. Is that the deal? It is. So that will theoretically maybe produce enough water. So how fast are you going? Uh, I haven't given you energy yet, so that's part of the problem. Oh, uh, you're Greg Tech. Okay, so you need that kind of energy. Um, so you're an LV machine, so you need to go on the LV line. So you need some 4X conductive iron cable. That's an extra hassle, isn't it? Little bit, little bit. Do we have any more conductive iron? We have a little bit. Yeah, let's do this. So we can get the rest of this stuff turned into some of this stuff, right? That shouldn't be too bad. Sixteen's a nice number. You know what I wanna do actually though is that. So we can do this first. Cool. Doot, doot, and to there. That's right, I did this backwards again. I want to do the rubber first. Cool, 14, that should be good enough for now. This is gonna be a mess of wiring. I'm not even gonna pretend it's not, okay? But it's gonna be necessary. For the time being, I will, re I will rewire this, okay? I will, I will, I will, I will. I'm just saying that that's gonna happen. 
I just want to get this going and see what it looks like and how it all works together, and then we'll rewire stuff, okay? You can probably live somewhere else, like maybe under here. That's probably going to be fine. Oh, good, you remembered your stuff. That's extra cool. That's extra cool that he remembers his stuff. All right, so now you should be cooking. Yeah, pretty slow. Not like end of the world slow. We might need a better water production thing there, but we'll want to ramp that up to MV probably. We'll see how much how much of that biofuel stuff we need. Uh, are you done separating your stuffs? You are tantalite dust. Good job. Can we put ruby dust back in there so you go back to work? Thanks, chief. All right, so stainless steel, right? So now we just need some nickel dust. So let's get what we have here, right? Let's get six of them. Cool. And uh, then we're going to need six times four iron. Or four times four, right? So let's do that. Just to make it a little bit better, right? Because the other option is the mixer, which is four invar dust. Oh, that's just, that comes out to be the same amount, doesn't it? Wouldn't that be two? So that'd be six iron and one nickel. So yes, it does. So we're going to want eight more of these, right? I think that math comes out to be the same. So it's easier just to craft it in the crafting table than to mixer it in the mixer. Cool. So manganese dust, whoop, whoop, sweet. Really, did I math wrong? Huh, I might have. Well, that's enough stainless steel for now. How bad is this process gonna look like? Well, that's not terrible. It's about the same as aluminum. We might we might hit some power problems, but we'll find out. But for now, we're, we're doing pretty good in terms of power production. Sweet. Okay. So you wanted me to make stainless steel ingots as well. So as soon as one of these is done, this quest will be complete. The machine needs more energy. Sure it does. We should we should upgrade this dude so he can draw more energy. That would be cool. There's a lot of things we should do, like upgrade wise. It's it's a toss up between um like progressing towards patterns and upgrading our existing machines. And I think I really want to stick on my focus on patterns thing right now. Just because, right? So the distillation tower was the other quest that we just unlocked there, um, which is cool, right? That's another approach we could take. But look at all the things we have to make. 18 stainless steel casings. That's, that's a lot of casings. Um, and refresh my memory. Stainless steel casings. So that would be 36 stainless steel just to make the casings, which isn't terrible, right? With tier three circuits in hand, it's time to make a distillation tower, which is the gatekeeper for both plastic and all the petrochemicals. Okay, uh, highly flexible multi-block structure, um, two blocks high to 15 high. The way it works is that each level of the tower after the first will put an additional fluid output. Any fluid outputs that there are not room for are lost. What we need the distillation tower for right now is to break down biomass into feedstock into ethanol and water. It only has two outputs, so a three high distillation tower is just fine, which is what the materials the quest asks you to find will build. Cool. If you're going to break down other stuff, you need a bigger tower. But we're going to skip this, remember, um, because we are going to make this guy the basic distillery which will hold us over uh for now okay and that's going to lead us to ethanol which i'm pretty sure is what we need right so basic distillery what's up uh so we need another one of these which i think i need to make another one of these for okay so it's going to be hammer file screwdriver see this is why you want to make a few extra things hammer file screwdriver and then I might have everything I need to make this. Screwdriver wrench. And then we just need one of these. Oh, we're getting a little low on wrought iron. 
And we might want to hire, we might want the MV version of these, but the quest is calling for the basic version. And I don't know that the quest will recognize me crafting the advanced version as valid, right? So drop a wrench into that bad boy. We're going to need a few more of these, so. Cool, and that should be your basic distillery, right? Assuming I make a little bit more tin cable. I don't know how I keep using up all my tin cable, but I do. All right, so basic distillery, ready to roll. Hooray, I don't need no stinking tower. I don't need no stinking tower. Now the bottom of this dude is already doing the thing. So here's what I'm thinking I might wanna do. Let's get the ender fluid conduits. And we're going to get the 4x conductive iron cables that we just got. OK. Are elevators in this thing? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We should absolutely make one of those at some point uh, soon. So you, sir, are going to get remade a little bit. What we're going to do is you're going to extract on blue and not insert anything. And you're going to insert on blue, extract on green, and you're going to insert on green. Cool? So blue extracts, does the water thing. How good is that? Beautiful, biomass, we're getting there. Cool, now uh, in order to biomass basic distillery into ethanol, which is I think what we need to be doing here, right? Um, Cause ethanol bucket is the next thing. Uh, we need a program circuit of configuration zero. Uh, it can also just make water which seems like a giant waste. Uh, fermenter can turn it into fermented biomass, which is cool. Distillation tower, as you can see. So we get the same amount of ethanol. It might be faster in the tower, but for now, I don't think we need it, right? We don't need the tower. If what we're just after is ethanol, then I think we're cool. So let's just get a program circuit of configuration zero. And you should be making ethanol, I would think. A bucket with programmed configuration zero, right? Ethanol, fermented biomass, wood vinegar, fermented biomass, biomass, program zero. Still needs his power hooked up. There's your problem. Nice! Check it out. We're making uh, ethanol. How cool is that? Now we get 700 um millibuckets of it right so i'd like this machine to keep running and get me a bunch of ethanol so guess what we're gonna grab a tank with which to store and we might need more conduits i'm not sure oh, yeah, that's right i need more conduit binder hopefully you can like pull from the adjacent tank i know you kind of maybe can pull Polyethylene. Oh, were you already having polyethylene? There's your problem. I'm hoping he'll actually pull and not need conduiting. He was so empty looking. This one's empty. Yay, he pulls. Hooray, ethanol. So give me a bucket's worth. Thank you, and quest complete, right? Booyah. Booyah. Now that turns into sulfuric acid, which gets me to ethylene and polyethylene. Cool. Uh, it is produced from sulfur and water. You'll need huge amounts of this for a whole range of chemical reactions, as it is a very common ingredient. So sulfuric acid bucket. Okay, that's probably not it. Uh, diluted sulfuric acid in the distillery. 
chemical reactor water and sulfur trioxide or a sulfur dust in water gets me three buckets so two buckets of water I can do that and how are we for sulfur we've gotten this from somewhere So two buckets in the chemical reactor, right? And one of you. Sweet. A little bit of effort, but not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So we've got three buckets, of which I should probably put this in a tank, to be fair. We've got ethylene, phosphoric acid, polyethylene. Uh, bucket, please. Or tank, please. Yes, you. Do, 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 do. Get ourselves a tank. Get ourselves a bucket so we quest complete. Ding! Thanks. Do you not pick up? You do. You were just too fast on the draw there. All right, claim our pennies. Uh, and ethylene is the next cool task. Ethanol and sulfuric acid make ethylene. Ethylene and oxygen make polyethylene. When you have large amounts of rutile, probably after you visit the moon, you can consider using it to improve your polyethylene yields. For now, it is not a great idea, as rutile is quite rare. All right, so ethanol and sulfuric acid make ethylene, right? So we're making ethanol. True. Okay, make ethylene. Right, so what we eventually want is polyethylene, right? But ethylene is where it's at right now. So chemical reactor, it's one bucket of ethanol, one bucket of sulfuric acid makes a bucket of ethylene and a bucket of diluted sulfuric acid. Okie dokie, smoky. Not terrible. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna wanna do. So let's get... Um, Let's just get this process working, just so we have an understanding of it, and then we'll go from there. Does that sound fair? So it was in the chemical reactor, right? Sulfuric acid plus you guys makes ethylene, right? Chemical reactor. Sulfuric acid and ethanol in a chemical reactor. Ethanol and sulfuric acid. I don't suppose it matters, right? That doesn't matter, does it? Uh, usage 30 EU, so we're under the 32, but no, wait. Usage 120 EU. Aha! So guess who needs a tier 2 or an MV chemical reactor? I don't think we have one of those yet, do we? I don't think so. MV chemical reactor is the next task for Dyer. You know what else the next task for Dyer is? Wrapping up. I'm sorry to say, but it is that time. So how about I make the um, chemical reactor, the MV version of it. Um, that would be you. Now the HV version, steel rotor, microprocessors, HV machine holes are just a bunch of stainless steel. I might be able to make the HV version. I'm just saying. But I'm, I'm thinking I want to save HV until we have more automation. Does that sound fair to you guys? I think so. So yeah, let's wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. I will make the MV chemical reactor between episodes, right? Um, so that we can process and get our polyethylene going. And then from there, we should be very close because that, that gets us plastic sheets, right? Next quest, plastic sheets. And then we have a better way of making those instead of using two stacks of wood per plastic sheet, right? We, we are super close to being able to fully automate that. I just have to find a, like, a little bit better way to get sulfur, but that shouldn't be too bad. Because didn't I say I found sulfur dust? Um, I found sulfur ore somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Did I add it to my dictionary over here? I don't know. Anyway. Um, wrapping up point. Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.